What's up, Gear Junkie? I'm Chris from Mastercraft. I run the Northwest US and Western Canada, and we're here to talk about inboard boats today and what really makes a wake boat. Uh, you can go all the way back. The lineage of wake boats starts way back in water skiing. In 1968, Rob Shirley founded Mastercraft, building a better water ski boat. Through the evolution, wakeboarding took over. Uh, we started building V-drive boats. And what's most important now is we are still wakeboarding and surfing, as surfing has grown in popularity, is the power plant and how these boats push through the water as we're going to make them weigh 10 and 11,000 pounds to make a beautiful way for you to stand on and surf. And now let's have a look at some of the things that set these boats apart. Okay, just because you see a boat with a tower and a ballast system doesn't necessarily make it a surf boat. These boats are designed with a deep V hull, bomb proof construction, they're C rated, and they're gonna create a wave based on the hull shape and the surf system that's attached that we'll go have a look at now. Okay, the first thing we want the boat to do is be heavy and displace. We say there's no replacement for displacement, but a barge is also heavy. It doesn't mean we wanna surf behind it. The hull shape matters, as we mentioned, as well as the surf system. So here we have our surf tabs. They are run by hydraulic actuators. They're very strong and notice the shapes. These are patented by Mastercraft that really give us some symmetry because you're gonna surf on the right side or the left side and these tabs matter a lot. Okay, another key differentiator is the power plant. For a true surf boat, it's going to be an inboard. That means that the prop and shaft are at a fixed location under the boat and the rudder moves behind their propeller. Our motor, our new bad boy, is this 6.2 supercharged that is marinized by Ilmore. It's 630 horsepower. But most importantly, you need an inboard to get that true power in the, that's capable of pushing all this weight through the water and holding a consistent speed that a jet boat or a stern drive is just not capable of doing. Okay, another important part of wake boat function is right here for the driver. That's really important to be comfortable in this position, have easy function, and what happens here has a big effect on what happens behind the boat. So right here we have two screens. This is our control screen, and from the highest level we have modes drive, surf, wake, ski, and chill. Chill is if we're just floating in the cove after our surf session, and it's gonna balance out all our music. When we go to our surf screen, this is where it becomes really easy for me to set up a wave for our rider. So this one to seven is actually the size and amplitude of the wave. One is really mellow. That's what we'd use to teach ladies or kids to surf on because they don't need a lot of push. Number seven would be an advanced wave for a pro or maybe for your big buddy that is having trouble letting go of the rope. That's gonna give what we call more push, more resistance in the wave, face of the wave, making it easier to let go of the rope. So I could slide this up to seven, watch my wave change here, I can change this over to surf left if somebody wants to surf on the left side, and everything is automated from that point on. It's gonna fill the ballast and deploy our tabs to create that wave shape and make it really easy from a driver's perspective to set up the wave for the rider. Then in this screen, we have our rear facing camera, as you can see uh, the back of the boat, so you have some visibility of what's going on behind you, as well as all your important information in a digital layout here. And lastly, one nice thing about this cockpit and this Mastercraft setup is the thruster that's mounted under the platform. I can twist the top of my throttle knob here, and as I twist it, it's going to thrust the boat and have a lot of power to maneuver the boat, whether you're docking or trying to get the rope straight for the rider, this is a great function. One very visible defining factor of a wake boat is a tower. You'll see these on a lot of boats. It serves multi-purpose. One, it's where you attach the rope. So if you're wakeboarding or surfing advanced, you're gonna ride from the middle. You'll notice that there are side tow points for beginners to keep the rope on the outside of the boat. Obviously our speakers are hanging from it for great music for the rider behind the boat. We have wonderful clamping board racks here that are very easy to use. The, the bimini is mounted to it, so this folds out and gives the cockpit shade, as well as you want to be able to fold down really easy. Mastercraft has the easiest folding function. I can put it in the garage in seconds. Okay, one of the coolest parts about surfing is how social it is. The rider's right behind the boat, so it's easy to talk to them. And most importantly, everybody's in the boat having a good time as spectators. So we can have the boat set up in stadium seating so everybody can watch the riding, but it's important that you can set it back to that comfy living room style when we're just cruising and floating. So everything tucks away, 
and you're back to your open cockpit. And of course you have to have good tunes out on the lake. So we partnered with Klipsch and created a state-of-the-art stereo that's actually tied to the mode that you are in. So if you're surfing, it will balance the volume inside the boat as well as for the rider that's behind the boat based on the tower speakers. And of course, we've got to keep everything charged up. So there are five total conductive chargers for your cell phones and USB ports everywhere to keep everybody charged up. Plus we want all the performance behind the boat. Plus we want it to be a day cruiser where you can just luxury cruise around. You don't have to be behind the boat to enjoy the comfort and performance of these boats. Uh, one thing that's, or a few things that separate Mastercraft out from the rest of the field are just the attention to detail we have. The great stereo, the great power plant, unique materials we use in construction, and the performance with our Surfstar Surf System is second to none. You won't find a better wave in the industry than behind any Mastercraft. And if you haven't surfed yet, let's get you on the water because you're going to love it.